This is Buckingham Palace as we know it, the official London residence of the British monarch and a tourist attraction that's been photographed millions of times. British photographer Oliver Curtis turned his back on the palace to capture an entirely different picture. The picture was taken because I found the humour of the way people are at some of these locations particularly interesting. They're very unselfconscious, they stand in peculiar ways, they do peculiar things. They, I'm completely invisible because I'm just another tourist to them. With this method, Curtis produced unusual images for his series Volt Fass. The famous sites aren't visible. They can only be guessed at best. For example, behind this fog is the Taj Mahal in India. And this is what Oliver Curtis saw when he turned his back on the Colosseum in Rome. He took this photo at the foot of the Statue of Liberty. The longer you spend in one place, the more the landscape yields. It starts to speak back to you. Uh, and I realised that one of the things that these locations have in common is that people spend very little time there. And they have a cup of tea and ice cream and then they go and they've ticked the box, yeah, been there, seen it, done it. For this project, Oliver Curtis toured the whole world for four years, taking photos in the vicinity of 44 tourist attractions. It all started with the pyramids in Egypt. Well, I was in Cairo on a job and took the opportunity to visit the pyramids like any tourist would. Uh, when I got there, I was surprised by how familiar the place was, even though I'd never visited before. So I walked around the base of the pyramid and found myself looking back out to the suburbs of Giza. And I was really struck by the incongruous nature of what I was seeing, this brand new private golf course sandwiched between the old city and the desert sand. This was the start of a journey that's also taken him to Rio de Janeiro and the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. He turned his back on the Great Wall of China, as well as Lenin's tomb in Moscow. They're the landscapes we look from, not at. And they're overlooked in the sense that we look over them, um, but they're overlooked in the sense that they're neglected. Not just photographically, they're neglected environmentally, and they're neglected architecturally. For now, Curtis has had enough of photographing tourist attractions, although he discovers one more motif at Buckingham Palace. We've got three cowboys over here. I mean, to me, that is fantastically interesting. It's surreal, it's incongruous, um, and uh, it's very funny. Um, you know, I would never have scripted that in a million years, and yet there they are. 